Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this problem, I'll show you how to calculate the equilibrium constant for a redox reaction when you know the standard cell potential for that redox reaction. And in order to do that, you need to know this relationship, that the standard cell potential at 25 degrees Celsius is equal to 0 0.0592 divided by N, which is the moles, the number of moles of electrons transferred in the redox reaction multiplied by the log of the equilibrium constant K. So in order to solve for K here, you need to know something about the number of moles of electrons transferred in this reaction and also the standard cell potential. So to know this information, you need to find the balanced redox equation and the standard cell potential for this reaction, where you have the reduction of silver by copper. So you know that silver is being reduced, and when you have a reduction, you have a gaining of electrons. So silver is going to gain an electron to become a silver solid. And when you look up the standard reduction potential, for that half reaction in the table of standard reduction potentials, you find 0 0.80 volts. If silver is reduced, you know that the copper solid will have to be oxidized, and that means it will lose electrons. So when it loses electrons, electrons will be part of the products. So the copper solid becomes a copper 2 plus cation, and because two electrons are lost, you show them on the product side of the half reaction for the oxidation of copper solid. So you have to look up the reduction, standard reduction potential value for the reduction of the copper 2 plus cation, and then take the negative of that value to know the oxidation potential, and that will be negative 0.34 volts. So in order to find the overall balanced redox equation, there's one more thing you need to do here, and that is to balance the moles of electrons on both sides of the half reactions. So you have two electrons on the product side of the oxidation of copper, and that means you need two electrons on the reduction side for the, re or sorry, the reactant side for the reduction of silver. And if you have two electrons being gained during the reduction, you have to have two silvers because each silver can only take up one electron. And then um, following that, you'll have two silvers produced. So you cancel the electrons on both sides of this equation to give you your overall balanced redox equation of two silvers plus the copper solid giving you two solid silvers plus the copper two plus cation. And then you add up your half reaction cell potentials to give you an overall reaction uh, cell potential under standard conditions of 0.46 volts. So now you have the information that you need to use this equation to find K. So substituting in the values that are known, you have 0 0.46 volts for your E0 value, and then 0 0.0592 divided by N, N being the number of moles of electrons transferred, and you can see from your balanced half reactions that that number is 2 and then you multiply that by the log of the equilibrium constant K. So you end up with 0.46 dividing to get 0 0.0296 log of K. Divide both sides by 0 0.0296 to give you log of K equal to 15.540. 541 10 to the log k 
equals 10 to the 15.540541. And then you're going to have log, or sorry, just k being equal to 3.5 times 10 to the 15th, a very large equilibrium constant, with this, which is typical for redox reactions. So we solved the problem here, we calculated the equilibrium constant from a known standard cell potential and a known number of moles of electrons transferred given the relationship here. And this is the equation that can be used at 25 degrees Celsius.